since you'll be installing the Ride and Remind system, we'll be showing you a few critical points that you need to know when installing the system. If you're a professional installer, you're already familiar with the first few wires. You've got your red for constant power, black for ground, and yellow for ignition. The green wire is a low current output that needs to be connected to the horn. There are two sets of blue and purple wires. Each of these needs to go to one of the rear doors. As you know, on many cars, the front and rear doors share the same door trigger wire. If this is the case, grab the wire coming from the rear door pin, cut it, and run it through the ride and remind system. The blue goes to the door pin side and the purple to the car side. If the car you're working on has separate door trigger wires for front and rear doors, simply connect the blue wire to each of the rear door pins respectively and leave the purple wire alone. Please keep in mind that the system was designed for use only on a negative door trigger system. Now we're going to show you how and where to place the rear door button. It's important that the button be placed so that it can be easily reached when standing near the rear door, but far enough from the driver so that it can only be accessed by exiting the car. Use the supplied drill bit and mount the button through the hole. Connect the wires either to both grays or both whites for each of the two rear doors respectively. That's all, and good luck!